Drinking overnight. Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Yo, what's going on guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, man. And ladies and gentlemen, season four is officially here. We've been waiting for this moment, now jumping into episode 22 of our Broke Adventures. For those of you guys that have stuck around this long, I seriously appreciate you. The love y'all have shown the series so far has been insane. And now that we got ourselves a new season, it's all about a new grind and a bunch of new rewards. And on top of that, a lot of free galaxy opals that i'm looking to get on the squad now one thing i do regret is not listening to my own gut i kept preaching that we were likely going to get a budget center on a new season and i shouldn't really do anything and i still went ahead and i bought this george mike and now to be fair i bought him because he had the hall of fame rebound chaser and i just needed you know a reliable big man because at the end of the day i can have him off the bench and he can still get the job done but it's looking like there's going to be a couple or at the very least one new player we are going to be picking up for today's squad and the same thing with james worthy i thought he was an insane snipe because he came with a contract and a shoe now the contract obviously it's a dub because you save a bunch on stuff but when it comes to the shoe man 93 post fade 88 three ball i mean i guess technically that's nice perimeter defense and defensive consistency why would you waste such a beautiful kobe shoe on attributes like that so we'll see if we'll keep this james worthy i'll see if i still want to start draymond green at the end of the day we still gotta you know try him out and really see if we like this card because again he was stupidly cheap for a pink diamond but now the galaxy opals are free cards are only going to continue to get cheaper now i want y'all to let me know in the comments man what are you going to be grinding for first in season four are you going straight for yao ming siakam granger what exactly are you guys going to be up to before we get into the action of today's episode though if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button we're on that grant to 300k subs like i said y'all been going crazy on the series it's been much appreciated and if we manage to get 2500 likes on this video i got y'all with another episode as soon as possible but as always man to kickstart a season we always get a bunch of locker codes and you guys can actually see them on the bottom right but we're gonna go ahead and punch them in anyways all right so first locker code right here is signature series for durant like i said they're in the main menu so you guys better make sure y'all are punching this in because it's a chance at a bunch of free stuff and honestly i really hope we get blessed land on the signature pack and then pull a signature player because i need an originally owned signature player in order to get a bunch of XP. I didn't realize how much XP is in originally owned cards. And obviously we don't spend VC on this account. Luckily we are gonna land on that pack. Imagine we pull Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant. I will literally scream louder than I ever have in a no money spent. What? All right, next locker code right here is gonna be hunt for glory in my team. But you know what? You can just hunt for these nuts. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, man. I had to do y'all like that. I actually don't know what this locker code looks like though. Oh. Damn, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I hate to say this out loud, but I kind of want to go for the tokens. Because why? I regret spending as many tokens as I did on the no money spent because there's an actual card in the pack market that I kind of want. But honestly, if we land on anything that isn't the shoe boost, I'm gonna be happy. And the shoe boost is all the way at the corner. Yes, hit all those tokens on the way down. I'm so glad 2K started adding spinners to locker codes. Come on, hit a couple of those more for me. There we go, going to the yellow, not the blue. Ah, I, it's, I swear it's like the game can hear you. When you say you don't want something, it's what you're going to get. And when you want something, you're not going to get it. Now, there is one more locker code I do want to try. It was a locker code from uh, the game last night, and it does give you, I think, a free heat check player, which is going to be useful not only for making MT, but for XP challenges. Dallas, Memphis, NBA 75, and win. And what are we going to get from it? Is it in our pack market? Okay, so we did get it. We got some... Why can't they give you, like, a notification? A lot of people are going to feel like they got nothing, but... You guys can see we got a couple uniforms and stuff. I was grinding for a couple because I wanted to up my collector level a little bit. But instead, I didn't even realize this boost was actually five cards. That could end up being a dub if we get a speed with ball or a three point. But let's just get this deluxe heat check out of the way because no matter what we pull, I doubt it's worth much MT. Unless it's Curry or LeBron. Two heat check players. Kyle Anderson and Boban. I forgot it's a guaranteed Memphis player. So that's not too bad, but it's not exactly the best. best. Plus four strength there as well. So... We're collecting those diamond boosts. At some point, I got to give some of my good boosts to a player, but 
For now, let's get all of these out of the way. And as soon as we open that signature series pack, then we can talk about the players that are in there. I don't know why I still got excited when I saw the diamond glow, when I knew these were gonna be diamond boosts, but please be good to me. Draw foul, block, post control, vertical, and pass vision. Oh my effing yikes. That's all that combined is probably worth 1000 MT. So, that, so that's very tragic. One speed with ball was worth more than all of that triple time, five times, but come on, man, let me see a shake. I need a card with a signature on it. Even if it's a Ruby or a Sapphire, I don't care. Just please, please be decent. I wish this was a deluxe pack, but it's looking like it's not going to be. That's gonna be our player. That is super tragic. The reason I wanted an originally owned card is because if you look over here, guys, and we should be getting a free free agent card right there, the grind to level 40 is gonna be fun. On top of that, for those of you guys that are no money spent and can't afford the expensive coaches, we get Coach Candace at level 35. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for this Ping Diamond Bailey Howell. He's a mini Tracy McGrady, so there's just so much content for no money spent players now. It's insane. And of course, the Galaxy Opal Yao Ming at the end of the day. But what I'm trying to talk about, guys, is when you go to Sign Signature Series or even Regular Signature Series, you go all the way down here and you get the originally owned bonus. That's 4,000 XP alone. Now, one thing I was thinking about doing was locking in all the signatures for Jameson because Jameson would not only be 3,500 XP, but on top of that, he counts as an originally owned card. But ever since I made a video on that card, locking in all the signatures got significantly more expensive which is something i just completely regret it is what it is though hopefully we can snipe some of the signatures or something at the end of the day but you guys can see here to start off season four in saint heat two kevin durant's those are cool two clay thompson sorry three kevin durant's absolutely nuts and then there's two joe johnson's this card is amazing his only problem is the stamina now you guys might be wondering which cards are going to be worth upgrading from their signature and which cards are not in this case i think joe johnson you're better off paying that extra amount because the difference is one has hall of fame quick first step and one does not in my opinion that's a big deal and the same thing goes for Kyrie Irving who is somebody I'm thinking about picking up in today's episode the one with the signature has limitless spot up and the one without it does not and then Sergi Baca this is where it doesn't really matter either version of Sergi Baca that you get is going to be a bucket the difference is Hall of Fame set shooter unless you care about that that much I don't think it's that big of a deal in my team this year then I don't think you need it like that Bargnani's cool but Ibaka is the man we are chasing this man is out here competing with the best centers in the game the budget gods have answered my prayers they brought us a nice big and then Boris Diaw, when comboed with Penny Hardaway, they're a dynamic duo, and that one's actually pretty nice. I just don't really think I need Boris because I got Draymond Green, and I got that new James Worthy, and both of them should get the job done for now. Avery Bradley's cool too, but not exactly what I'm looking for. Honestly, I don't even really think I'm going to pick up Kyrie Irving. I got Damian Lillard. He should be enough, hopefully, to get the job done in the clutch time streets, which is what we're going to be jumping into today. Obviously, first things first, though, we got to get that Ibaka. And the one thing I'm talking about here, guys, is we've now unlocked the Pink Diamond Rewards, and I am so close to getting this Doug West. Yes, guys, Doug West is actually nice. 10 Hall of Fame badges, 25 gold, 6-6, amazing animation, amazing dribble style, amazing stats, driving dunk, 3-point, ball handle, defense could be a little bit better, it's doable, good speed, decent lateral quickness, and again, the badges, they're super nice, man. Doug West, I think last year he was a free triple threat offline card, and he was actually pretty good. Hall of Fame quick first step, that's a big bonus, and a lot of the badges that you'll actually need. If I got this card, I might be able to sell my Mike Miller, but we love Mike Miller too much on this team. He's standing at six foot eight. So what we're here to do today is look for an Ibaka for ourselves. Now, I don't know if I want the signature or not. To be honest, like I said, it's not a big difference, but the fact that I'll have one with a signature just kind of, you know, feels more credible. And Ibaka, from what I'm hearing, is a very cheap center, unless everyone is now talking about him and he's gone up in price. Now, what is the difference between having a signature and no signature? Because I don't mind paying a slight amount more for one with a signature. I wish there was a way to filter out signatures and non-signatures because right now the only way is to buy the non-signature and then go to enabled, but I am not seeing one with a signature just yet. So the cheapest debacle I'm seeing is 15K, which honestly I'll take for that extra Hall of Fame badge. I just thought it was gonna be a bigger price difference than that because that was the case with all the other pink diamond cards. So in this case, I'll go ahead 
I'll take that Ibaka for 15k. He's got five contracts on it. Not too shabby whatsoever. It was also just put up like, what, five minutes ago? So I think that's going to be a dub in the books. And I forgot about all the cards we sold last episode. So our Clyde Drexler ended up selling for 49k. We listed him for like, what, 20 something k So very happy about that one whoever got that Clyde I really hope you enjoy it Bill Russell for 29k another big dub Wes Unseld unfortunately did not sell right back to the auction house so we actually have more empty than I thought okay now I don't feel as bad I feel so much better for some reason I just I just thought we were completely broke definitely not some bad sales there at all Serge Ibaka welcome to the gang now I feel like there's certain cards I should be looking at because some cards might have dropped in price some cards might not have I don't even know, man. I want to know if this guy is now a buy now. The man that we missed the snipe for last episode. And honestly, I don't even want to talk about last episode. So these guys just got posted up. Like, look at the timing. This always happens with my no money spent. And someone in the last episode was like, HTB, I don't know. This is kind of sus. I literally just looked this up right now. Like, I don't think anyone's buying them, but... This actually might be worth it for Terry. Thing is, I think I like my Mike Miller a little bit. Terry is definitely the better defender, but I'm liking the offense of Mike Miller. So right now, what we're going to do, Clint Capella, we know you're free and all. That's exciting, but we're going to have to say goodbye. Where's my Ibaka? Okay, there he is. So Ibaka is going to be right there, and I think this is what it's going to be looking like for my clutch time lineup. Not only do I want to go into clutch time to chase Siakam, but I also want to be going into clutch time because there is a possible free Galaxy Opal shooting guard that we can get, who just so happens to be the best shooting guard in the game. So right now, obviously to start the season, there's not really much you can do except for grind. Not too many cards to snipe because the season just started. So we're not gonna waste any time, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna jump into some clutch time. There's not too many cards to snipe. Like I said, if there's any other card I would pick up besides the Serge Ibaka, it's probably gonna be Kyrie Irving. Joe Johnson is cool, but from what people are telling me, his stamina runs out way too much and maybe I'll consider picking him up. It's just that he's going for over 100K for the one with Hall of Fame quick first step. So. I think I'm just gonna chill with my super cheap Mike Miller for now now Allen Iverson you're a galaxy opal and all but I don't think you'll be getting the job done for us today This is one thing I've been hating about clutch time on my main account having to put all the cards back in your lineup Every single time. All right, George Mikan. It's been real man, but my boy Serge Iblaka Let's get down to business. Scalabrini, we're coming for you, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. The clutch time streets have been so sweaty. Okay, so he's got Trey Young. He's not grinding XP. He's just trying to get buckets. Sauce him up right there. Not a green, but it's not a bucket. Look at Ibaka. Already on the boards. Get this little man off me, and he's going to go ahead and put it down. All right, let's go, man. Get there, Ibaka. Look at Ibaka on defense. Draymond Green, not Draymond. James Worthy. I'm so used to saying Draymond Green at that spot. DeRozan for three. He's going to go ahead and knock it down. We got ourselves a 5-0 lead. But um, yeah, man, clutch time streets have definitely been sweaty. Most of my games yesterday on my main account, I was getting full core pressed. And I mean, I get it. Everyone's trying to grind for Siakam, but god damn. Look at Ibaka. He said, no, get that out of here. Good defense. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, our opponent has left the match. Our first chance, a Galaxy Opal Reggie Lewis begins now. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to click it on the exact same spot that I did on my main account. Because for those of you guys that don't know, I got him on my main account, but uh, it was right there. Is that the spot? No. Nope. Definitely not. We were way off. 450 MT though, that's not too bad. For once in my life, I'm hoping I land on a bunch of the tokens, but look at that. My whole lineup is gone just like that. Having to set this up every single game has been so, so frustrating. All right, boys, jumping into game number two. We're actually getting blessed. This guy does not have a good lineup. I'll tell you that. Ibaka, right to the basket. Easy dunk right there. I think he's got who? Amethyst Vlade Divac? Is that from season one? Oh, he's going into the settings. Maybe he means business. I could be wrong. Kyrie Irving is such a good card in clutch time. Unfortunately, he is getting clamped up right now, but he was my main scorer on my main account. A 40K card was my main bucket. Oh, finesse that little pick, pump fake, swing it to Mike. Mike to the basket, go ahead and put it down. A bit of a sloppy offense there, but we get our buckets. He's got that Scotty Barnes. Oh my, Ibaka. You're such a dangerous man. That's Miller in transition in the corner. That's going to be automatic. I'm telling y'all right now, man, Mike Miller is going to be on the squad for a while. No matter what card is dropping, it's just like 6'8 shooting guard that can dunk and get buckets. That's rare. 
And just like that, another opponent has left the match. Is this going to be a Mickey Mouse Siakam? Is it going to be that easy for us? Hey, I'm not complaining though. I know because I said that, I'm about to run into a full Galaxy Opal squad. But for now, I'm going to focus on getting this Reggie Lewis. I'm going to click on the same spot every single time. Right there. Right there. And I go back to the same spot. I'm telling you, depending on where you click on that stopping thing, if you determine where Reggie Lewis is, you really can get blessed. And that is going to be my goal, to figure out the pattern and which exact column to click on. Because you can see all the dots right there. If you find the right column, I swear it guarantees you Reggie Lewis. That's what I think actually works. Because I almost landed on him twice on my main account. And I know if I landed on him a second time, the whole community would be fuming. They'd be like, nah, this man's getting paid. He, he is a paid actor, but... Nope, we just read the patterns. On to game number three. Jumping into game number three, looks like this guy's got that NBA 75 Kareem. Damian Lillard, let's get to work, man. A little finesse, oh yeah. Four point line, we like those, baby. Get us started right. He's got that diamond Trey Young. You can get the free Trey Young from playing the moments challenges. Who is this? Michael Jeffrey Jordan? Give me a nice little screen right here. Oh, we got finesse stopping. From that four point line again, Damian Lillard. <laughs> Yo, can we please play more than two minutes in a game? Th that would be lovely. Now, now, I'm not complaining because we're flying through games right now. Please keep giving me these kind of opponents where Lillard can go off. That's the only reason I haven't gotten Kyrie's because Lillard knows how to get his own shot. But this gives me more time to master the algorithm that is Reggie Lewis right there. Is that the spot? Oh, so close. So cl I'm telling you guys, there's a pattern to this. All right, so game three. This guy's team could definitely cause us some problems, but I knew he wanted the dunk. It's clutch time. He wants to show off a little bit. Let me see if I can get myself some buckets. Magic Johnson definitely going to be a pain to deal with. Thank you. See you later. Stopping. I thought I had the pop right there. We got three seconds. Lillard, give me a screen. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. I had to do something. Ibaka, can you get the board? Man. Yeah, so this game definitely isn't going as planned. Getting finessed. Get that screen. Thank you. And step back. Mike. Oh, I need you to shoot that a little faster before Shaq closes out. Ibaka's on the boards. We got two points. Can we make a comeback? Uh, let's find out in the next two minutes. Yeah. This is why you don't talk too much. Because then you end up getting finessed. And in this case, DeRozan isn't even running the play correctly. He is at the four-point line. And he is going to knock it down. So, actually, there might be hope. Let me, let me be focused here. Oh, this is going to be bad. He's going to go up. He's going to go up. I need Ibaka on defense. Yo, thank you. We really got no rebounders in this thing. Worthy, I see you. I thought that was going to get stolen. And won. That's big time. All right, we got to get a stop after this. Thank you, Worthy. I really thought Shaq was going to dog me there. I thought I played great defense. The fact that Larry almost got that putback is wild. All right, Mike Miller, I got you here for a reason, man. Thank you, Finesse, that stopping. That's the four-pointer. Yes, sir! Jalen Brown, way to not close out, my guy. Thank you. Now get me one stop, and this game is over. I promise you. Good defense. Good defense. Good de Oh, my goodness, Ibaka. You're the best. He had to pause after that, bro. If y'all don't have this card, I don't know what you're doing. This man has seven rebounds in the first quarter. Well, technically, the only quarter. But my man is hooping. The blocks of hell. Everything about this card has been great. And I still haven't gotten to shoot a jump shot with him. But let's just not give up a three here. Yeah, leave Shaq wide open. Leave Shaq wide open. Good defense because he was forced to just go to the basket. And that right there is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure why you're pausing. It's just a GG. Ibaka is simply just the best. All right, so a game where we definitely started off quite cold. And honestly, if he was good enough, he probably would have closed it out on me. Luckily, I just had to focus in a little bit. DeRozan with a big time four pointer and we secure the win. This is the spin that I get Reggie Lewis. I think I figured out the pattern. This is where you come home, Reggie. I'm feeling it, man. Right over here. This is the one. This is the, okay. Now it went completely to the other side. So I think it changes every other wheel. So every two wheels that I spin, I think I get a chance. I know people are probably going to say HTB. There is no pattern to this. You're bugging, but I'm going to figure it out nonetheless. Mike Miller, welcome back. Jumping into game number five, and I put the wrong person at center. I did not mean to throw Draymond Green. It's impulse for me to see the card and try to do something. He's going to keep dogging me with Maurice Lucas. If this is how we're going to play, this is going to be tough. If we take the L here, guys, it is not my fault. I don't have my big man here. Finesse that. Thank you. Stopping. Mike Miller for four. Go ahead and knock that down. He's got Klay Thompson. He's got Steph Curry. This should be fun. 
so this guy's caught on to the fact that i don't have a natural center and because of that he's been you know just posting me up so far all game demar derozan on the off ball deodorant has been very consistent tonight you love to see it best way to answer against twos though is hitting fours come on there we go low behind the back and we gone draymond get out of my way my guy beautiful dunk we draw the foul First free throw right here. It's going down now. Draymond could have probably played center if it was last season because there's not too many cards. But him having that Maurice Lucas on top of just having access to Serge Ibaka does not make sense to run Draymond at center anymore. Let's try to get a stop here. Good defense. Good defense. Good defense to Rosen. Way to get the rebound too. Not too many people hustle for that rebound. Right down the middle. Draymond. Catch and shoot. Look at him at center. Making things happen, man. Hey, I I'm messing with it. Hold it down. Oh my goodness, DeRozan. Thank you for not getting mashed. Because this man has been mashing us so far. I should have shot that. Not going to lie. A little crossover. Thank you. Stopping. Behind the back. Mike Miller. A little burst right there. Hey! Oh, oh my gosh. Get that rebound. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Good defense. We're not getting mashed. James Worthy, you haven't gotten a three tonight. Let it fly. There's the green that we're looking for. Okay, James Worthy can stay on the squad, but... I think Draymond Green might have to go. I don't know, man, because like, there's not necessarily a reason for me to keep him, especially if we're about to get Pascal Siakam eventually, not we're about to. It's going to be a journey, but he is going to be the card. No money spent stays prospering, though. Hit that screen. Thank you. Stepping back. Damian Lillard at the mid-range. Go ahead and knock it down. At this point, I think we've secured the win. Good defense, bro. Draymond, he did not let anything happen in the post. Worthy in the corner again. He's been automatic from there. I actually like his jumper a lot. I, used, I hate how it looks because it looks so flat, but it's so easy to green, and it's actually fast. All right, man, GG's to my opponent, but now it's time to get down to business. Figuring out the Reggie Lewis algorithm that might not even exist. I'm going to keep clicking X on that same spot, man, until Reggie Lewis comes up. Once again, we're ending up on this side. So you guys see how I'm consistently ending up on either side of the wheel, whether it's on Reggie's side or the complete other opposite. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm going to figure it out. We still don't have a lineup. I think I'll play a couple more games. Don't want to play too much. I know you guys love watching the gameplay a lot, but at the same time, I don't want to bore you guys too much by doing the same thing. Jumping into our next game here, likely our toughest opponent so far. He's trying to post up Lillard. Come on. Let's stop with this. Good defense there, Ibaka. Yo, DeRozan, you got to stay on your man. He had to take a bad shot there. He was wide open, though. He could have taken that. Let's go right to DeRozan. In transition, Mike Miller, I see you. That's a moving three. That's not going down. Oh, it is. I'll take it then. Hold it down for the boys, Ibaka. I know it's Diesel. I know it's Diesel. Keep jumping. Is that not three in the key? I thought the game was three in the key. Not make a whole dinner, deliver a whole meal in the key. That doesn't make any sense, man. Come on. Hit that screen. Thank you. Yeah, we gone. We gone. Let's go to Ibaka. Hey, we're ex-teammates here, Kawhi. Drop step. Pump fake. Out to Mike. That's an automatic three. Go ahead and knock that down. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm feeling it. If this is the game we end up winning, good steal right there by Ibaka. We're going to get Reggie Lewis. I'm speaking it into existence. Yeah, it's not going to DeRozan. Going all the way. We're drawing the foul, and we got some free throws. I wish DeRozan ran out to the three-point line because LeBron was able to basically cover two people there by one person. It was, it was a two-on-one, and it felt like a two-on-two. Good defense. And just like, wait, he just left the match in the middle of an offensive possession. That's where defense wins championships. You don't got to outscore the person in clutch time. You just got to have a higher score than they do. And if you stop them from scoring, well, one plus one equals two. All right, man, we're going to call this the final spin of the day. Watch it be the luckiest one. Reggie Lewis, we're coming for you, man. I'm going back to that exact same spot right there, right there. Oh, bro. We keep hitting the exact same spots when we hit the spot on the wheel, so I'm hitting it slightly too early. If I hit it slightly later, that moves all the way over to Reggie Lewis. It's crazy how the littlest thing matters. I know people said there's no pattern or anything to this, but every single season, it feels like when you hit a certain spot, you're going to be able to get the reward. And in this case, I'm slowly figuring out this Reggie Lewis. If you guys end up getting him that way, remember who to give the credit to, okay? But... I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Basically, we got to level 10. Let's see if we can hit that ascension board and hopefully get blessed. I don't think we get the ascension board until level 11, though. I could be wrong. Utah Taboos. Three more tokens. Actually, I like the tokens. A couple of packs here. A season four ball. And we do get the ascension reward. Okay, so how many picks do we get? Is it like three? Two picks? If we can get to the top with two picks, we're blessed. We get a pick back. That's going to be a blessing. If it's not in the middle, it's in the top left. It's not in the top left, and we lose a pick. Oh, that's bad. And we get a pick back. 
We gotta at least get out of the first spot. It's always in one of the four corners. Thank you, man. Oh my gosh. Now, this Galaxy Opal Maurice Lucas is actually a very good Ascension card. If we manage to get him, that's another power forward that we have. If I get Maurice Lucas, I'll probably end up selling Draymond Green. And then when I get Siakam, I'll probably end up selling James Worthy. Please take me to the next board. Double the value. Okay, that's, so that gives us a pick back. We got a chance. I'm going right here. Ah, that's tragic. So we're not going to make it to the top. Usually you want to make it to the top on the first go. So all your future ones are basically just good guesses. But in one more level, we do get the Ascension board once again. So I'm not too mad about it. Got a bunch of packs to open. Likely some that you don't really care about. So I'll clear out a bunch of these stuff. I'll probably save these post score batch packs and stuff. The chance where we can get Hall of Fame badges. I'll save them for you guys for the next episode. I'll clear out the rest of this. And uh, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good start to season four i'm very happy with it all we're definitely getting close to that scalabrini i'll probably get it by the next episode honestly but it also depends because i am grinding this on my main account as well i want siakam on both accounts that's going to be 200 games that's definitely going to be a lot of work but you guys have been showing insane support so thank you for that that's going to do it for episode 22 though thank you for tuning in guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care.